wonderful brother, Azim Ibrahim, some of you know him, very Scottish, right? I don't think I said that right, but very Scottish, right? And so what are they wearing? You know, that's of course a tartan, Scottish tartan, but which clan is that? That's not McGregor. You know, that's not McGregor. That's not true. That's not... I'm trying to think of some other clans. Okay, what clan is that? Muslim clan. And this was authorized by Scottish Parliament as an official Muslim tartan. I think that's really cool. I think it's really cool. Let's, let's go to the next one. See, so maybe you can go up just a little bit. That's the pattern. So it's got green, white, black, gold. No, go, go back. Okay, so I can read the words beneath, okay? So, um, um, I can't really see it. Okay, so, okay, so it says, um, blue represents the Scottish flag. Green represents Islam. Okay, keep going. Um, read it for me, please. Five white lines represent the five pillars. The five pillars, right? The white lines, okay? And the gold lines are the... Six gold lines represent the pillars of The pillars of faith. Isn't that beautiful? And then what does it say at the very... The black square represents the carbon. The carbon. See, so that's really... That is living by the cultural purity. And that is telling Scotland that we love you. And Muslims should, because Scotland's been really good to us. And usually the Scots and the Welsh and the Irish, they're a little bit better than their cousins. Well, they're not actually cousins, but the English. Um, you know, they really are. They're much more tolerant. Scots especially, they've been really good. And the Muslims of Scotland, in my very limited experience, are among the healthiest, and they're also among the most dynamic.